Hello and welcome to this tutorial about how to store information inside a serial key. So I think we can start with two projects which I, which I already have created. And it's a uh, create a key. Oh, there we have them. A key generator and a key validator. I won't talk much about it. So basically, we include our serial key configuration uh, class here. <clears throat> and then we include our key skgl.generate and we do the same on the in the validate a key project but instead we put skgl.validate so basically what I'm gonna do I think yeah this uh, form is I mean these projects are now working with inputs and outputs so as you can see you have the text box one dot text which is the in output in the key generator and you also have the input uh, in the validate key example or the key validator, it also have this text box as an input. So everything is basically done, but now I'm gonna t show you how to actually put stuff into your key. And basically it may sound a bit strange, but it works. So the first thing that we already have assigned um, key is the, uh, the date uh, or the amount of days the key will be valid. And we have already done that when we uh, generate our key, so basically we don't need to do that. The second thing that we already have set is the creation date. Even though we can't change it, we have already set that. Uh, if I... Then we can set... And basically I think for the moment this is pretty much it. You can also add uh, features inside your key, but the um, features to use the feature to use features is a big area, so I won't talk about it in this uh, video. But I will show how to create, how to set date, uh, how to set certain date for uh, the key will be uh, yeah, the certain amount of days that the key will be valid, uh, and uh, basically you can right away create the key in this key generator as it is now. And then we can go to and create a if statement here, uh, and in this if statement we're gonna type first of all validate a key, which is the variable that holds the key there. Dot is valid. And basically we don't need to type anything more because it just checks has the key been modified or has it not. And if it hasn't, uh, then I want the program to output the amount of days the key will be valid so I'm doing it by typing message box uh, dot show and then I type validate um, validate dot a uh, key dot um, creation date And to short date string. And here's the key generator, and here is the key validator. So basically, I'm gonna create the key here, and then I put the key inside the validator, and we suddenly get the date. And if I look at my schedule here, yeah, it is the 16th of April because we have created the key today. So this is one thing that we can put inside the key. Or actually, it's already there, so you don't need to care much about it. But we can also put other stuff, or, or we can rather we can rather rather check uh, the amount of days we have set. So I'm gonna write validate key and then set date, set set time, with other words, to string. Uh, and this form actually it will return how much you've set this key to be valid. So it won't tell you how much time is left. It will only tell you what number you set when you generate the key. So as you can see I've gener generated the key and I'm now validating it and I'm suddenly getting 30 and it's very obvious because you've assigned it in the key generator. You can also change it here and then the same th thing will be uh, displayed in this window. Uh, in order to check if the key uh, has 
expire not, there are features as well uh, uh, that you can use, they are pre-built, but we can do uh, one that we already, I think I have it in documentation here, yeah. So this, basically, as you can see, everything that we have written is there, except, except one thing, uh, oh, I will just stop this, uh, except, oh. So, now we put uh, what I found at the documentation page, and uh, basically what it does, I mean we can do it simply, but we can use uh, this long way of doing it, but we can also do it by a function that is pre-built in SKGL, so it's up to you. We can do it like this, basically it's the same concept here. So, it checks whether the key is um, valid, and then it checks how much days it is left. As you can see, there is a difference between set time and days left. Set time returns only the amount of date that you have set uh, in the beginning, uh, uh, well, in other words, in the key generator. But the days left will return the amount of days the key will be valid. So from the creation date to the expire date, it will calculate the amount of days that it's left. And you can see here, validity key dot dates left is bigger than one. So if it is, I mean, yeah, so therefore, it will return uh, the amount of days. If there is uh, there's only one day left, which means the key will be valid in only one day, and the next day the key will be, will expire, then we can prompt a message to the user, today is the last day until the software expires. So, then he or she knows that. And as soon as the key expires, uh, when it's zero or less, days left uh, or whatever day it is which does not satisfy these two conditions uh, then the key is expired is what will be prompt to the user. I think I'm going to try this feature so I'm just going to open the key generator I'm going all I'm also going to open the key validator and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna generate the key here and I'm also going to open notepad oh no I'm also going to open Notepad and paste this key so we have it on a good place. Or basically, yeah, I think this is kind of good. No, we can close this project now. Now we have a key. So as you can see, when we input the key, we'll get a message prompt to us that we have 30 days left. Uh, that's what we, what we want to. Then we can do a change. As you can see, the key has not been changed. So we can go to the date and time, and then we can go and do this bad thing that you shouldn't do actually. And then you go to, and then you change, for example, three or two days to the 18th. So now we are uh, pretending that it's uh, Wednesday. So, and now we're compiling this window again, and now we're inserting the key. So I right click, copy. Suddenly, 28 days left, as you can see. So it will return that amount of days, etc. Uh, I don't know if I, if I'm gonna try the second one, but I will try definitely this last one when the key is totally expired. And what can we say? We can say about one month, the 16th. Where do we have it? I think if we change it to 16th. Uh, uh, where do we have it? 16th. If you change to the 16th here, uh, come on. So, uh, and then we put the key here. The key has expired. That's kind of obvious because the key has expired and it's what we have set the key to do after a certain amount of days. If I have a certain time here, yeah. Uh, and if we set it to 15, I don't know will it work or not, but. Uh, if then it place that today is the last day until the software expires. So to conclude this, you can put the creation date, you can put the how much days it is left, which we have talked about in this tutorial, but the next tutorial will talk about features, which is a big area in SKGL. Thank you.